All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube in the future. We have Teamer Gate Gates again. Um, we did really well with Teamer Gates the last time we played this deck, and it was a whole lot of fun, and I'm pretty excited to try it again. The only changes we're making is uh, at the end of the, the last time, we played four Krasis, one expansion, and we're putting in the second expansion. That was something that we did at the end of the last video, and so that's uh, one one uh, change that we're making. And then an, um, a little bit of an oversight, which didn't hurt us because we didn't play against any enchantment decks last time. We just played against like Golgari and stuff like that. Um, uh, and like mono red and, and decks like that. But I didn't have any uh, any ways to deal with enchantments at all, which is which is not really uh, a good spot to be in in this uh, metagame. You know, we didn't play against any Ixalan's binding decks, but if we'd have our Colossus or our Ram binding, it, it could have been pretty bad. So we're going to try three naturalizes in here. I'm taking out the Bane Fires that were in the sideboard before, um, hoping to just kind of grind out control with the help of Guild Summit and Negates and, and other things. And Naturalize is good against uh, some control decks. And uh, trimming one Fiery Cannonade, which uh, hopefully doesn't bite us too much. But um, let's go ahead and try some more Gates. We we're hoping to just kind of go over the top of the mid-range decks. This deck's surprisingly powerful for being a, a cheap deck to put together. All right, Mr. G. We're going to be on the play. Are we lucky? Yeah, it's also really fun to play, yeah. I had a ton of fun playing this deck last time. All right, really good hand. Don't have red mana yet. Wait, this is yeah, yeah. Never mind. We have red mana. Yeah, we're good. So I, you know, a lot of people say that it shouldn't be playing Gateway Plaza, um, but I've been pretty happy with it of like the three color land because turn two is almost always a tap land anyway. But it's good mana fixing. You know, it's just a three color land. Hmm. Sulfur Falls Hollowed Fountain. So if I if I play Gatebreaker Ram, it's a 4-4, four, four, and they can coil it. If I wait, it's a lot bigger. Um Are they okay? Jeskai Control is certainly not the matchup I want to face, and, you know, I wish I had those Bane Fires. Uh, yeah, this is this is certainly the, not the matchup I want to face. I took out Plaza for a bit, and then I put it back in. It's really helpful overall. Nice. Yeah, and we can get it with Route if we have, like, the extra mana. Ooh, that resolved quickly. Um, let's go Golgari and is it? This Gates of Blaze isn't doing too much for us. The Ram's like, Lava Coil, this one. Ooh. Huh. Man, I, I do not want that Guild Summit countered. Um, I could, like, go to combat first. And see if they do anything like a Sell the Wreckage. Uh, and then Guild Summit definitely resolves. Uh, the problem with that is, if I go to combat first... Then I'm missing out on a point of damage because I want to. I want to wait on the, the is it Guild Gate of course, and after I play Guild Summit. So, what if I just route this turn? I'm just gonna route this turn.
And still, okay. So yeah, we're we still draw six cards next turn with Guild Summit. If they, you know, presumably they they cleansing Nova, like they have to have cleansing Nova. What are they doing? They're just not doing anything. Sweet one drop. <laughs> yeah, rekindling Phoenix is a nightmare to deal with the, with this deck. Um, that's true. You just gotta race. You just gotta race it with your your big creatures. All right, so let's draw six. No, no other Colossi. Um, I was hoping to draw more Colossi that we could just play for free. But we only get one. It wasn't really draw six for three mana, because you know we had to tap nine mana to play it. You know, like we had to tap all those lands, so it was kind of a nine mana spell. But yeah, free eight eights are good. <laughs> there you go, casual draw six for nine. How do you put the reserve of Colossus first? In my MTGA, I can't decide. Oh, it did it automatically for me. I just have it. I just, I yeah, it just automatically does, uh, does that. If you have the two triggers on the stack and you, uh, you put the trigger you click on first will be the one that goes on the stack first. So the other will resolve first. So you want to click on the Guild Summit one to go on the stack first and then the gate colossus to go on the stack second because um because you know you like pick the one to go on first then you pick the one to go on second and then the second one resolves first like that all right so jeskai control we're gonna have negate instead of a blaze and we didn't really see anything to naturalize there um I don't really need Gift of Paradise. We'll play one Naturalize. Should I just have some other Naturalizes in my deck? If so, I guess I'd have to cut like Grow Spiral maybe? Yeah, Ixalan's Binding is something I'm more scared of than Seal Away. No, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep it like this. I could have manipulation for a Teferi. I could take their Teferi. Yeah, they played Chemister's Insight and Cleansing Nova. Not very much. Not many cards there. As Kant is a target, it's a good target. This is the first time I've had the double gateway plaza opener. That's unfortunate. It's the first time I've ever seen that one. Uh, yeah. Shimmer of Possibility is a good card. Yeah, hi history is probably replaceable in... Uh, Hmm. History is probably replaceable in uh, Mardu Angels. If you want to kind of go more control route with like Clarion and stuff, I don't know. It's it's usually just a good card. Like it, it slows the opponent down. It's like something they have to focus on. While then it it kind of clears the path for your angels. History of Benali is just a a really strong card.
History of Benalia is a little weaker in this new metagame. But that's just kind of most every more expensive card. Um, the metagame's faster in general. Uh, and flying is even more important with Hydroid Crisis. You know, coming out of... Uh, I don't want to say coming out of nowhere, but, um, you know, joining the new, uh, the new format. So we can take this Gateway Colossus. But I only have three gates. I think I actually just want to Shimmer for something else. Um, you know, if we want to find our blue enchantment um, to get card, good card advantage, uh, Guild Summit. We want to find, like, Guild Summit for card advantage or... Uh, Niv Mizzet would be a good draw. Let's take this in the gate. So they have land to ferry, we get a counter ramp. Do not want to ferry on the battlefield. Yeah, I, I really like Shimmer. Colossus, I'm not trying to resolve too much. Um, this does... This does mean if they have Teferi plus Negate, they get to resolve Teferi. Because I don't, I don't have the double counter spell up with like the Negate and Expansion right now. So I really hope they don't have Teferi plus Negate. Huh. Well then. Play my own Gate Colossus. Hmm. So I can go 5-5 five, five, Crisis or Colossus. And Colossus holds up Negate. You're not sure why Krasis has flying because the creature types don't match. Yeah, I mean, jellyfishes don't really fly. Hydras don't fly. Beasts don't really fly. It doesn't really... Does it... I guess it's flying? It looks pretty weird. Jellyfish Hydra Beast is just another way of saying Eldrazi. Pretty much. Jellyfish fly in the water. <laughs> Gosh, Niv Mizzet is just so crazy. Alright, so at least we know a little bit more about our opponent's deck. We know they're a Niv Mizzet deck. Wasn't necessarily what I was expecting. Seal away. You discarded that. That just answers my my one threat here really efficiently, and they just they just discarded that. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the, that art either. 
booty balloon. I like the the Hydra part and everything. I don't really like this big brain thing. I don't know. Like, where's like the the beast part? Also, I don't know. Let's see. Mardu Angels is. It's got about 25, 30 minutes left for going up tor towards YouTube. Yeah, so obviously we can negate that. Um, I feel like, you know, I negated. I'm not really winning against the Niv Mizzet. I think Krasis is our one chance to kill the Niv Mizzet, or at least be able to block it. Next turn, I guess we can explosion for five, which could kill the Niv Mizzet. All right. All right, they got us. You can't copy Seal Away. You can only copy Instants and Sorceries. Seal Away is an enchantment. Um, I'm going to play some Mass Manipulations. Hmm. So they do have Seal Away. I don't think I care too much about Seal Away. Let's play some Mass Manipulation. What card am I taking out, though? I'm going to trim a Shimmer. So I don't really want to trim anything else. Maybe it's just a Krasis. Krasis is expensive. You do get cards uncounterably, though. I like the speed of Growth Spiral. Oh, I'm, it's Growth Spiral. I like the speed that it allows us, like how we get to... Um, uh, you know, try to get out in front of the opponent here, especially on the play. I ended up cutting the Bane Fires from the sideboard to have room for the Naturalizes. Bane Fire is obviously amazing here. I would love to have Bane Fire, but Bane Fire is a a pretty narrow card. Like, there's not a whole lot of other matchups that I wanted. I think I just wanted against these, uh, you know, like Esper and Jeskai are basically the only two matchups that I want um, Banefire against. These are, these are, you know, not necessarily a very good matchup for us, so, like, there is a good reason to have Banefire in the sideboard, but I feel like it's kind of just too narrow. But yeah, I would, I would love to have Bane Fire here, of course. I only have three mana. Go and tap it. Dun, 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 dun. All right, guild summon in. Let's draw some, draw some gates. Or any land. We need a route. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I guess they're not playing... I guess they're not playing Cleansing Nova. I don't think we'll have to worry about Cleansing Nova too much. Which, that's good news for us. Oh, I certainly do not want them to have Securitas route. Can't quite play that gate Colossus. Almost. Alright, I'm getting the Mardu Angels uh, deck list kind of ready to go right now on YouTube. Link to the. All right, there we go. I don't. Yeah, I think you don't need to play Krasis in this deck. Um, I think you can you can play other cards besides it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I mean. Nivmizza would be nice here, but I don't think we can pass up the opportunity to draw six with a guild summit while they're tapped out. Yeah, I mean, in a perfect world, we'd have Nivmizza on the battlefield, Guild Summit would resolve, and we could draw all that and, and you know, get all the Niv triggers and stuff in a perfect world. But I'm just getting that thing in play while I can. And now... Uh, now we'll have Nivmizza with Negate back up. That's Tilt. My ram. Hmm. Ghost spiral means if if I would have dealt the damage to the deputy, deputy, the ghost spiral would have been able to help us out. I don't think I'm gonna play ram here. I I want to just keep negate available. Mm 
We'll take a gate. Gate Colossus, thank you. That's what, uh... The big reason why we're running this game is the circuitous route. It's, you know, like, the circuitous routes gave us so much mana, so our opponent could only cast a fairy. We're over there casting Niv mizzet and a two-mana spell and still having negate available um, and putting a tap land into play. You know, like, the mana advantage that you have after you circuitous route is the big power with this deck, uh, how it has such a strong a mana advantage. Oh, come on, E-Claws, you can do it. You can get the deck. Just gotta keep grinding. Let's draw land. Hey, Boondocks. Let's get a land. Yeah, basically every deck runs Negate these days. It's just a guilt. It's just a gate mirror. Uh, we missed our land drop though. Red deck wins is not unwinnable. And it's not unwinnable at all. Um, you know, like there's a good amount of life gain in the deck. Gift of Paradise, Plaza Harmony. Helps you out quite a bit. Alright, our opponent's routing. That's really bad for us. We are not routing. Our opponent is. There's likely going to be a... Um... Likely going to be a Gates of Blaze. I don't want to throw out another Ram. I had a, fun, a lot of fun with the Gates version that splashes white for Clarions. Uh, Clarion, Ixalons, and Huatli. Healing with Huatli and then having a 10-10 ram is fun. Yeah, that's... That's certainly... Really nice. That's for sure. Alright, Gilgate. So our Gates of Blaze only does three. Do I? Yeah, yeah. Ghostly Flow is a, a Twitch streamer. That's his. That's his Twitch name, Ghostly Flow. I'm just gonna play a little baby crisis. Draw a card. I'm looking for my own circuitous routes. Uh, you asked for the song name just a a little bit before, like right at the end of that last song. I don't rem I don't know what was playing. But then this brand new song came on. Eh, we'll skip that song. It was Shaking Like an Animal by the Crash Kings. Yep, Alex is beating me up here. I don't have I don't have the mana to compete. He's got route. He had secured us route. And also a guild summit now.
You have about another week of grinding before you have the cards you need to complete the deck. Okay. Almost there. Yeah, Gates of Blaze was gonna could have dealt four that turn. So I could have played Gates of Blaze for four to, and killed their Krasis. Um, but I, I like just playing the Colossus instead. This kind of incentivizes my opponent to play a an Ablaze or something like that. Like I think they're likely going to just play an, abl an Ablaze and wipe the board, so I, I don't really need to. Yeah, I mean, he's he's just got all the cards in, in the world. Wilderness Reclamation? I guess... I guess he's playing Nexus of Fate. Yeah, so he's playing the Nexus of Nexus of Gate deck. And he stopped on his end step, so he's uh looks like he's playing it right now. Okay, it's just an explosion. That that is why he did not attack. But our Gates of Blaze should be able to end this game for us. So we're actually going to be able to pull this one off. Alright. We got this one. One, two, three, four. Just deal four. We don't know what was in their hand or anything. I wouldn't say they made necessarily made a mistake. Uh, naturalize sounds pretty good if they're playing Wilderness Reclamation. That seems important. Uh, manipulation take their things. I guess actually he's probably not playing the creatures. He's playing Nexus of Fate. No, they're probably still playing some of the creatures. Uh, Niv Mizzet. This is a good card. Because Naturalize is cheap and instant speed. I like the two mana instant speed in this deck with all these tap lands. Niv dies to Blaze. That's a good point. It dies to Gates, gates of Blaze. Yeah, yeah, you think they're niving? Um, do I just take out my Gates of Blaze? Krasis is probably just like the smallest creature, actually. I'm just going to take out Krasis. Um, how do I play all these negates and these naturalizes and Gates of Blaze? The three. I guess I'm cutting Gift of Paradise, that's how. I'm not going to cut all the Gates of Blazes. Maybe we go down to two and get rid of a Growth Spiral. I guess I'm going to go with this. Okay, you were just taking out the Growth Spirals? Okay. <laughs> Our ties of business expense you write off for streams. Maybe I should. I hadn't thought of that. Okay, Gateway Ram next turn. I'm feeling like a Gateway Ram. Bye.
Ooh. That's bad for me. That's that's like the reason to hold up expansion. I would love to copy that uh, circuitous route. Dang it. We don't have the mana. We don't have the mana. Let me untap with this ram. Hawkeye's the channel mascot, therefore all his food and everything is food, toys, everything's a write-off also. Yeah, he's he's mascot and real hard back here. Ooh, no blaze. No blaze. gonna hold up like double negate I feel like that's good to hold up Ugh. I can't negate that thing Cycle. All right, so I can route and make mine a nine nine, but then I don't have. I can route, make mine a nine nine, but then I don't have negate available. I'm gonna be patient. Cool, you're liking the smothering type deck? Nice, Matthew Ori. Yeah, that deck's a lot of fun. I was uh, yeah, ple pleasantly surprised, or pleased. Pleasantly pleased by that deck. Which deck have you had the most success so far in RNA? Honestly, it's been Mardu Angels. I've played it four times, gotten a five win league every time. I think I know two were five oh one or sorry, two were five one, one was five oh. And I think I'm I'm not sure I'm not exactly sure if the other one was either it was either five oh or five one, I'm not exactly sure for the last one. So we're either twenty and three or twenty and two with the deck. Oh, it just has infinite mana. But we have to counter Nexus of Fate and Explosion. So I'm letting Reclamation and Circuitous Route resolve as we have to counter have to counter those other ones. Oh I guess yeah, I guess I could have just naturalized before end step. I guess that's true. Maybe we should have just done that. I was just so focusing on countering these things. Be right, they wouldn't have gotten the extra mana there. I guess they floated two mana, so they floated like negate, like so they would have had negate available. I mean, I could have done it on their their end step though. Bleh. Mm. 
So I would have had to use. So I would have had to naturalize the wilderness reclamation. They negate my naturalize. I counter their negate, and they. So I use one counter, and they still have nexus of fate and explosion in their hand, and um, I and I'd only have one counter. Honestly, I I really don't. I I honestly like where I'm at. Well, obviously I don't. I don't like that now with the crisis. But I, I like trading the two negates for, uh, and getting both of those out of their hand. I mean, obviously, now with that. Hmm. The extra turn's not the good game. The extra turn just deals eight damage to us. The extra hydroid crisis, of course, is a good game. Hmm. The, the biggest mistake I made that game was playing the Gatebreaker Ram on turn 3 and not being able to expansion copy their circuitous route on turn 4. That was the biggest mistake I made that game. Hey track team. Day's going good. If I cut more growth spirals... And play Niv Mizzets. Hmm. No. I'm gonna get good. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my Gates of Blazes. And try playing, try playing an extra growth spiral. Um, the lack of mana compared to our opponent has been a huge problem. Both of these games, uh, he's been casting circuitous routes. I haven't been. It's been a big part of it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Mardu Angels is all rares and mythics for the most part. So yeah, that, that's a, that one's a bit over your budget. That makes sense. <laughs> well, this this deck plays a whole lot less rares and mythics, and is also a good, uh, fun option. Then we went five zero the last time we played this deck. All right, let's go Rams. The problem is I can't Ram again uh, and play Gateway Plaza. Gateway Plaza looking a little weak here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Two lander on the draw with a... With that... Uh, I don't hate that keep from the opponent. Yeah, that's unfortunate for Alex there. I don't, hate, I don't hate that keep, you know, you're on the draw with two lands, you know, you get three draw steps for your third land, and then he also has that cycler, so you got to see four cards. I don't, I don't think that's necessarily a bad keep. Mardu Dragons was a sweet deck. That was a good one. You're going for the Pats? Over the Rams? The Pats always win, though. The city of Boston just always wins. I would be, I'd be happy if Boston didn't get another championship for, you know, a good twenty years. Between 
just all their their teams just get they do get so many championships. It's just oh hey look, Red Sox just won a World Series, Patriots Patriots in another Super Bowl. Bleh. Are we playing another mirror? Um. Oh yeah, I, I like Shimmer. So I, I want to play Ram, but then uh, I'll just go Ram. Let's just yeah, we just go Ram and then Ram and then Route then Route. Yeah, that's that's just the play. Yeah, another mirror. Wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that stay hydrated, but. I don't know how that got on the channel or anything. I, I guess all the channels have them. I don't know. <laughs> Celtics banner. I'm not. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm just saying that you've had, you've had enough championships for your entire lifetime. <laughs> Basically, you don't need more. Basketball, my team's the Dallas Mavericks. That's my basketball team. Uh, so, super excited about Luka. They got a chump lock. Or not. I have watched all but two, no three, all but three of the, the Mavericks games this year. Um, so that's why I do a lot of the streams. In fact, I think there's a game tonight, right? Like after after the streams, uh, a lot of times, then I, no, there's not a game tonight. Oh, there's a game last night. Yeah. Yeah, there's a game last night. So. Um, so I do a lot of time after the stream, like, Kind of lay in bed and, and watch the, the Mavs game. Um, so we're playing another mirror. But they had creatures. I want manipulation. I want to keep a blaze. Um, yeah, Doncic is so much fun to watch. He's He's awesome. Crisis and Growth Spiral. Oh, no. I was going to give to Paradise. I don't need the Naturalizes. So I think I have room for a Crisis or a Niv Mizzet. So I'll play one Crisis. I don't think I need four Negate. I think three Negate's probably fine. Naturalize, of course, kills the, the Guild Summit. Um, I guess it kills the 8-8 eight eight also. Maybe I should be playing it. It does kill the 8-8. Eight eight. Oh yeah, mass manipulation is cool. What was the question from earlier? Are you a Cowboys fan? No. Ugh. Actually, I kind of like this. Yeah, actually, I like this. We're probably going to draw gates. We have Shimmer. Shimmer can turn into a gate. No, I'm actually a Steelers fan because I was born in Iowa, and uh, you know the Iowa Hawkeyes. That's that's why the cat's named Hawkeye. Um, big Hawkeyes fan. They are black and gold, and so were the Steelers, and so became a Steelers fan. Oh, I have, I already have blue mana, so I don't. I still don't have green mana. That's a problem. I didn't have a, a green land I could take though. Yeah, I, did, I didn't have a green land I could take. I could have played the guild summit there, but I just want to try to get as many gates in play as possible. Hmm. Because of this ram.
Yeah, that's that's the play. Grow spiral. Yeah. So that's three gates. Oh no. Opponent, don't play that card. We gotta get our gate colossus in next turn. Oh no. Is it possible? I have Plaza Harmony that can give me some life. Okay. So if I route... Route and Plaza? Yeah, early ram. Def definitely a problem. So next turn I can play gate my ram and Colossus. I guess I could have played the guild summit also. I just I need to I need to negate, like I, I had to have negate up, because I need to negate a, a gates ablaze. Like if they just gates ablaze, they can you know be able to trample over for enough damage. Yeah, or or that card. Got to counter that. Okay, we're we're in it. We're not out of it. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, six gates right now. What I go down to uh, tap two. So then we draw a circuitous route and we can play it. Does Gates of Blaze kill us? Uh, does not. Wait, yes it does. Yes it does. So hopefully they don't have it. Well, the the Blaze kills us. It would it didn't they didn't need the. Um. Uh, that does it too. They didn't need the gate, just because dealing dealing damage to my creatures and then having the trample, they would have trampled over for enough. Yeah, mass manipulation sweep. Alright, actually let's get let's get all the negates in. Get the crisis back out. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Alright. All the negates. Gotta have more counter magic. Gotta counter mass manipulation and explosion. You can't fetch the Gain Life Plaza. The Gain Life Plaza is not a gate. So, it'd be kind of too good if you could just pay four mana, double rampant growth, and gain six life. I think that's probably a little too good. So, I think that's why they didn't make it a gate. Yeah, honestly, maybe I should be playing more mass manipulations. The card's been awesome. Looked awesome, at least. All right, it's kind of risky. We don't have green mana, but once if we get green mana, we're looking really good here if we draw green. But like look at all those gates on the picture on that on that plaza. Like this certainly looks like a gate. Yeah, it was a gate early in development, it was too good. Yeah, it makes sense. It's a lot of
Wow. No green mana. Um, do I just shimmer again, or do I want to do I want to play Guild Summit next turn? The problem is the floor on Guild Summit. If we don't draw gates, can be really bad. I think I just need a shimmer again. That's unfortunate getting two negates down at the bottom, but we'll shuffle that back up with this route. You say take the negate. Ooh, we drew a negate. Now nah, we need to, we need to find a green gate. There is a green gate. All right, now we can route next turn, and then then we're going. They could certainly counter our route. Hmm. They can't counter Ram. Correct. You get, for eight mana, you can take two creatures uh, or planeswalkers of any any value or anything. Yep. Breaking down some gates. <laughs> and we have enough blue mana for mass manipulation now. Oh, they, they get to copy this? Wow. All right, so they have expansion in their hand, right? Oh, no, they were just searching. Okay. I thought it was paused to see if they wanted to use it. Seven cards in hand. So many cards. So they're doing that with counterspell backup. Honestly. They could just have, like, Gates Ablaze. They have eight gates. Oh, no, they have seven gates because they played a basic. Let me take my sheep back. I want my sheep. All right. We want another Gates Mirror. That sheep's mine. <laughs> Three and O. Oh. Going real good. Yeah, going first one every game then, right? Yeah. Yeah, going first is certainly nice. Um, uh, again? Oh, Gilgate. Whew, okay. I was worried. Probably need to just keep the land. I was certainly worried. Uh, because I saw Gateway Plaza, Gateway Plaza, and I was like, no, we're going to have to go to five because we only have two plazas. And then saw we had the Gilgate. And see, this time the Gateway Plazas provide us our green mana. The, the tricolor land has been pretty nice for us, fixing our mana and everything. All right, looks like our opponent's playing gates also. <laughs> Man. No, I don't think captive audience is seeing much play. I, I love the concept too. Um, yeah, it's it's a really cool card, but it has, hasn't been seeing much play now.
No, our opponent's not actually gates. It's just they were putting in these shock lands and tapped. And so I was saying that they're basically a gates player. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pass. Right, Esper is a bad matchup for us. Yeah, the, the control decks are, are a bad matchup for us. Yep. We have a better chance after sideboarding whenever we have access to... Um, we're doing four? No, not five. I said four. When we have access to negates, helps out. Um, our most important card is the Guild Summit. You know, we didn't have Guild Summit this game. Guild Summit's like our, our most important card. We just gotta hope it resolves. Um, I mean, I, I guess I could play it right now and it's on, on the battlefield, but I, I don't get to draw any cards from it. That's not good enough. I think you just gotta hope they don't have a counter spell. Ooh, that's that's good for me. Yeah, they, that's a good point. They could just mortify it. Also, if we just play it now. Draw six. No. Needed that. That's enough for me. Let's go to the next game. All right, so the ablazes just changed to negates, so that's like a, a nice upgrade. Uh, Niv Mizzet comes in for a couple gift of paradise, um, and let's see. Naturalize is, of course, really good against. As Kanta. I want to take Teferi. Yeah, I could certainly see them just bringing in more creatures, kind of in general, anyway. I'm going to trim a ram with all the removal they play. They may just bring in like angels and stuff too. A lot of Asper decks do that. Maybe they bring in like Thief of Sanity, something like that. We'll take it. Yeah, Block is awesome against uh, aggro, but we're not we're not playing against aggro here. Yeah, we have Niv Mizzet as our sideboard big thing like that over Carnage Tyrant. We need to find some more. Got to find some more gates. 
It's alright. Gate. There we go. No Teferi. No Teferi. Don't do it. Ugh. I need to wait a little oh, bit. No. I don't have the mana oh, yet from mass manipulation. Hmm. Could Guild Summit draw two. Or Gatebreaker Ram plus hold up negate. Yeah, we're we're gonna try to face. steal this to fairy with our mass manipulation. That's our goal. Oh man. Can we draw an untap land? Oh wait, yeah, they get to untap lands. Dang it. So now they still have counter magic up. They have to go to discard though, right? Yeah. Hmm. I'm certainly playing the gate. Oh, that's true. I don't. I don't even have enough blue with mass manipulation. That's a good point. I don't like playing the ram here. I want to be able to have negate up, but like we have seven cards in hand, you know. We have too many cards. We just gotta play, play a card. Hold that thought. Um, Rhythm of the Wild could be a, a good cyborg card for this matchup, honestly. Alright, so now we can mass manipulation, but we certainly need to have counterspell backup to go along with it, in my opinion. Rhythm does get destroyed by Mortify, also that's a good point. We use one negate here. I'm going to save the other negate for the mass manipulation. Oh, that card's good. It's hard, harder to steal to ferry at eight counters. No time for a break. Trigger. Draw a card. Well, that didn't pan out. I 
Yep, yeah, looks like that. Guess they had another contempt. Let's skip to the good part. So now, next turn, do they have two counter spells? Right, we have four, one, yeah. So they have to have two counter spells this next turn. I like them tapping mana. Hey, Night Owl. I think we go for it, right? I guess I can still wait. Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead. Why do you think Judith didn't make top eight at the recent standard event? Because uh, it's week one. Week one, you. You just see, like, the decks that did well the last format for the most part. Um, it's just the... All right. It worked. You know what? I'm not done yet. So I mean, just just give stuff time. Like this format's still just so we're so so early in the in the format. That is three contempts out of them. Yeah, the most the two most popular decks are were like Golgari or Golgari with blue with Krasis, you know, like the best deck last time, and Mono Red. Like, really easy decks to build right away. Golgari was nowhere to be seen the first week last time, for the most part. Like, it wasn't, didn't do very well. And, you know, ended up being, like, the best deck. Uh, let's try the Ram. You kind of have to worry about decking myself with double guild summit. Oh, auto tap. I don't get to draw two. Hey, that's actually just fine. We could keep a negate up. That's good. Yeah, and honestly, we didn't even need to draw the other two, to be honest. Like, we would just have to go to discard. So, it's actually just better. So, that, that auto tab actually just worked out for us. Because, yeah, we, we would have just had to go to discard anyway. Alright, so, is that our only Gate Colossus we've seen so far? Yeah, so... Their last one of those. Maybe eat their absorb. We are out grinding the Esper deck thanks to Guild Summit. 
All right, Krasis, what can you do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could go Krasis for nine. I just don't need that many cards. Let's let's shimmer. See what else we can do. Explosion's pretty cool. I do like route though. Also, I do like getting the extra mana. Like routes, like put two lands into play, draw four cards. That's just like ridiculous. I'm gonna get one gateway plaza in. There's one Colossus. Just more mana is better. That's our second Niv. Our opponent already contempted one Niv. The thing I, I'm not honestly worried about decking myself, honestly. I won't hide from the world. Enemy Saving the growth spiral for Niv Mizzet. Niv should be able to just kill Teferi here. Oh gosh. How do you think we're performing against the Nexus decks? Uh, maybe, maybe not good. Probably not good. Was a, too old was a flop in real tournaments so far. It's been one tournament. Time for Plan B. But as soon as yeah. I think of one, did not do well. But yeah, it's only been one. Uh, gate classes for zero. I don't even know if I can. I don't think I can cast these Krasi. Time for Plan B. Pretty worried about milling out. So I'm not gonna get that. How many more negates do we have in our deck? How many negates have we used so far? One, two, three. We've used three, so there's only one more. Don't make another move. Only time will tell. There's Colossus. Colossus is certainly the card that I want the most. Because Colossus can we can put those back on top. All right, so I'm going to get rid of Route, Krasis, and uh, yeah, we've got to save the got to save the gates. Um, I'll just guard a forest. All right, we got there. Going to game two. We still had at least one, maybe two explosions in our deck also. 
We're going to game three. We're going to game three. We got game two. That's what I meant. Uh, naturalize for search for his Kanta. That's that's the only enchantment they have. Don't think they have other enchantments. I don't think so. Minus one spiral, plus one ram. Hmm. I feel like they answer rams pretty well. I guess it makes them have the removal spell. Yeah, they do have tons of removal. All right, we'll try. Yeah, the Mardu Angels deck is on Stream Decker. Uh, it's from a few days ago, but you know it's not like one of the very first decks. But we played the same deck we did not too long ago. But you can find it on there. Plaza and then Grow Spiral. Can potentially route next turn. We'll see what our opponent does. All right, I'm just gonna ram. I don't want a route to get countered. I guess I could just shimmer. Nah, I don't. I don't care if Ram gets countered. Yeah, I think we talked about putting in Takali Honor Guards in the two drop slot. Um, still not. 100% sure if I'd rather take it out for Tithe Takers or a Danto Vanguard. I think I'm going to try it over a Danto Vanguard the next time. We can have Niv next turn. What do you think about one clear the mind in the sideboard against control deck? I don't know what clear the mind does. I don't I don't recognize that card. Shuffles their graveyard into their library, draw a card. Okay. No, that's just not really something that you need to do. Really, you only get... Decking is only really a problem when you have... Um, when you have, like, a bunch of guild summits. And you can just hopefully... Hopefully be able to end the game without it. You show remorse. I'll show restraint. Man, I, I wish I could mass manipulation here. One mana short of mass manipulation, plus have the expansion for the counter spell. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's hope they don't have two counter spells. Hold that thought. Let's hope that is not two counter spells. No. No. Ah. Uh. That's such a bummer. Well, now I'm hoping they don't have one counter spell. I, I can't really play around a counter spell now. I just gotta I gotta hope this explosion resolves. Cause their Teferi's at six, I can explosion for six. Um I just gotta try it. Dang. Let's skip to the good part. Like, my opponent knew my hand. They knew I had the explosion. They weren't going to tap out. I mean, I guess maybe, maybe they would. He's, he's chilling back here on the couch. He's watching from back there. Eight. Okay. We're not we're not we're not gone yet. We're not we're not done for. We're basically Hurry. done for. Teferi's at eight. So, one, two, three, four, five. Last, last ditch effort. Man, you got everything. I did main phase there because I wanted to draw the Colossus and play the Colossus. Also, hey Green Stripes, welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's it's definitely tougher for us to win that without Bane Fire. That's for sure. Um, yeah, that's a that's just a really tough matchup for us. I mean, they had they had Teferi in play. They had turn two as Kanta, which is just awesome. And they played Teferi on six once they did other things. Uh, once they could have like the three mana to untap to have a counter spell backup for it. Those are gonna be the games. Like that's gonna be tough for us to beat. Absorb is really good in that deck. Absorb's really strong. Yeah, Absorb's really good. All right, that's our ninth sub of the day. One more, and we're cracking open a pack. We're down to only needing 33 subscribers for the next 12-hour stream. Also doing a 12-hour stream whenever we get to 1,500 YouTube subscribers. So uh, put the link there in chat if you want to see any of the replays. You can see them all there on YouTube, but not muted. And... Uh, just at youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. I was really hoping to draw a gate one of these first two turns so that I could have the forest on turn three for the gift of paradise.
Mm. Got a, a little late, but it's better than nothing. Hope we draw another gate. So we want to keep on drawing some lands here. Uh, man, we have just played tough matchup after tough matchup here. Um, yeah, let's let's just play this. Yeah, spike glass would help. Certainly, spike glass onto fairy would certainly would certainly help. Just the thing, like we need we need a lot of cards to. Um, oh yeah, good point. We're three one. Um, we need a lot of cards to kind of fix these matchups, and we can't just have our entire sideboard for it. Hey, okay. Hey, boy. This matchup is worse for us than Esper Control. Likely. Likely worse. So we played Jeskai Control, Teamer, Teamer Nexus, and... Uh, And Esper Control in this league. Real bad league for this deck. They get so much mana. That's like the strength of our deck is usually having more mana than the opponent. Uh, not the case here. Now, I mean, I think this is just another explosion. I guess it could be Nexus also. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know I don't know much about mono mono red living end, honestly. I don't know much about the deck. Desert X with the sub. That's sub number 10. That's getting some high votes in the channel. There we go. All right, they got another explosion to finish us off. All right, we're working towards the next one now. I really appreciate that, Desert X. Thank you so much. Okay, so we need uh, naturalizes, um, negates. I'm not sure if I really want Niv Mizzet. I should probably have Niv Mizzet.
how the Bant value deck go today. Uh, yeah, we, we played it early, like the other day. It went really well. Today it didn't go so well. Um, I don't think that Militia Bugler, with how this format's shaped up with Hydro Crisis, I don't think Militia Bugler is where you want to be. Unfortunately. I want to keep the growth spirals in. I want the ramp. I'm going to just cut two crisis for two. Niv miss it. Because it costs two mana instead of three. Uh, I want the, the two mana spell um, instead of the three mana spell. Yeah, Bugler can find crisis, yes. But the the body isn't really necessary in the in the um in the mid-range mirrors, and it's just pretty slow. Like, you have to pay three mana to, to cast everything. I don't know. I think it kind of warps your deck too much also. You know, like, you have to play so many other things that are targets. You have to play so many targets for it. I do both Cursifius. Mostly. Mostly make my own decks. I have not played anything with Hungering Hydra in it. No. I have not. Ram's a pretty good draw for us here. Have a good time to put it on the battlefield. Sultai or Esper? I think Sultai. I'm going to look for a naturalize or a negate. <sighs> Securitus route is tempting. If I play route, my creature's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I think I just need negate, honestly. Yeah, Debbie Detention is really good against Krasis, that's for sure. Murmuring Mystic's a huge problem for me. I did not... Did not really play this with Murmuring Mystic in mind. I mean, I guess, like, Ram just tramples over it, I suppose. And I guess it, it can't... It makes Thopters that can't block Colossus either. So actually, it's not that huge... Not, not that big of a problem. Yeah, so Movie Star is looking for somebody to coach to coach them. If you're interested in that, you can whisper him. Hmm. 
can't we just draw a land? If I don't have negate available for a turn, I don't know. My opponent just has so much, so many cards. That chemist's insight with wilderness reclamation is just ridiculous. Oh my gosh. I guess we can take out Niv Mizzet. They're probably likely going to just counter or uh, block with Murmuring Mystic here, though. I would love if they trade with Niv token token, or I guess like Niv Mystic and a token. I'd expect Murmuring Mystic just to kind of jump in front, though. Yeah, so they're just cycling the Crushing Canopy. Love we get to kill Niv. Niv. Love it. Bell Hunt's good. I mean, it's really good against the red decks, of course. That's where it's that's where it's great. Yeah, they would have had to chump there with Niv. Um, do I switch anything up? So they had Crushing Canopy in their deck. I you know. And Murmuring Mystic. I could see them taking out taking Niv back out. I guess maybe they just didn't have anything in their hand and they were about to chump with their Niv Mizzet and they just had nothing left in their hand. It seemed kind of early for a... You know, it was a little early, a bit of a concession there. with the help of Wilderness Reclamation, they could draw, like, uh, Chemist's Inside into Nexus of Fate. I think they could have played both of those. Yeah, they could have played both of those. Um, 
and then kind of start going from there. But we'll take it. Game three. Man, why don't we have lands? It's certainly possible their opponent does not play Nexus. Yeah, that that, that is possible. Okay. That's a card. Haven't seen a good take on Mardu Aggro. How do you feel about Hero of Precinct 1? I think it's okay. I think it's a little overrated. Um, the big question is what to do this next turn. If I want to Guild Summit and allow them to resolve a... a I, I don't think I want to Guild Summit here. They could certainly have Negate. Uh, we saw them play Negate last time. I think I want to try to just counter the the four mana enchantment. Hmm. That's like the worst thing that could possibly happen. Yep, that was the worst thing that could possibly happen. This could not have gone worse for us. Okay. No, <laughs> chemistry's in sight too. Uh, never mind. It could, could go worse for us. Can't let them just draw more cards. I gotta counter it. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying the music. Thank you. Hmm. Gross. There's just everything that the worst worst possible it just keeps happening over and over. I mean, I, like, so we need to grow Spiral into a land and then also draw an untap land and play niv at next turn. did let them have that negate. Why did I not put Gates of Blaze back in? Oh gosh. Just worst possible every single turn. Opponent's hand was awesome.
Yeah, so the, the super spell heavy decks there, the control decks, and then Nexus. Or that's not, that wasn't even Nexus, but just... Yeah, that felt like an awful matchup, especially when they have that kind of hand. Um, but yeah, those, those are going to be our toughest matchups, for sure. Um, yeah, like those, those are just, uh, yeah, that was a, that was an amazing curve for our opponent. Um, and, you know, we were stuck on lands, so it just was not a close game at all. Naturalized felt like it was probably worth it to have it in there. Um, still like mass manipulation. Could honestly see just be playing... I could honestly see just playing mass manipulation in the main deck instead of the crisis Um So like if that's if you know if you're playing this if you want to play this deck for like F and M, but Crasis is really expensive, that that could honestly just be a card to, to put in there. Uh there. It seems like negate's good against just everybody. Like maybe we just won negates in the main deck. Honestly, it just seems like every single matchup we need negates. But that's what it seems like at least. Um yeah. All right, there we go. There's Teamer Gates. So if you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.